Hello, operator. I just dialed the number. What? No outgoing calls? I mailed your check yesterday. You'll positively receive it tomorrow. You leave the phone connected? Thank you. Please get me that number. Hello, is this the butcher? This is Mrs. Edelman. I got to have two pound lamb chops right away for dinner. No meat? I mailed your check yesterday. You'll positively receive it tomorrow. I'll get the lamb chops tomorrow. Thank you. I mailed you. Watch the door. Come in. Mrs. Edelman? Yeah? A cablegram. A cablegram? Yeah, from, from Ireland. Ireland? Let me see. Who do I know in Ireland? I think you, you won the sweepstakes. Congratulations. Your ticket, number 44678, has been drawn in the Irish sweepstakes. Ah, here. I got no change. Thank you. You're welcome. to me? Yes. No. I mean, I just got a cable from Ireland. Monty, have I got a surprise for you? What is it? You know that ticket you bought on the sweepstakes? Yes. Well, it won. We won a stake? We, we, we won the sweepstakes? Yeah! <laughs> a d -d -d glass of water, please. <laughs> what do you mean, water? Champagne? We're rich? Oh, our troubles are over. Bench, do something! Hey, Monty. We're rich. We, we, we're rich. We... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Monty, don't go crazy yet. Wait till we get the money. I haven't gone crazy, but something terrible has happened. What could be terrible when we won the sweepstakes? Listen, I met the landlord in the hall and had to pay him the month's rent. Forty-five dollars. What's the difference? We'll buy the house. But you don't understand. I only had forty-two fifty. So to make up the extra two dollars and a half, I gave the landlord the sweepstake ticket. So what? What'd you say? I gave the landlord the sweepstake ticket. Monty, dear, you should drop dead. I'll jump out the window. Who stops you? If the landlord knows the ticket won, he won't give it back. But if he don't know, we'll get it. Quick! He's out in the hall. Get him! Get him! Martin! Mr. Martin! Mr. Martin! Why, come in, Mr. Martin. Funny, my wife was just talking about you. Hello, Mrs. Edelman. Hello, Mr. Martin. Sit down. Thanks. You look good. <laughs> you look absolutely wonderful. Uh, make yourself at home. Here, take an apple. Oh, thank you. You know, Mr. Martin, my wife is so superstitious about that sweepstake ticket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you let me have it back, I'll uh, give you the 250 tomorrow. Oh, if that's why you called me in, I'm going. I've got the ticket right here in my wallet, and that's where it's going to stay. No, I'm no, sorry, Mr. Martin, just sit arrived. down. Yeah. You know, you never come around to see us. And we're always so glad to see you. Uh, why don't you make yourself comfortable? Come on, take off your coat. Sure, oh, sure, right. take it off. It's hot in here, you know. Oh, it's so wrinkled. I could press it for you. Oh, thank you. Mm, the pants is wrinkled, too. I could press the whole suit in a jiffy. Oh, no, never mind. Sure, take off your pants. Never mind the pants. pants. Make you feel more at home, I'll take off mine. No, 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 just press the coat. Do you know that I have a feeling that this ticket's going to win? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, I don't feel so good. Come in. Here, Mr. Martin. Sit down again. Uh, have an apple. Oh, thanks. Cablegram, Mrs. Edelman. Congratulations. Thank you. Beat it. Oi! Why did he offer you congratulations? A relative died. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it's terrible, ain't it? Yeah. Now I'm going to press your coat. Thank you. Monty, Monty, a lonely syndicate is offering us $25,000 for the ticket. And we ain't got the ticket. Talk, 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 talk. Why? Don't say a word. Don't say a word. The trouble with you, you get too excited. Don't get excited.
Let me get excited. Let me get excited. Hold yourself together. No, not the pieces. Hold yourself together. All right. Fine. What'll we do? What'll we do? Let's tell him the truth. Maybe he'll give us half the money. Poison he'll give us. That's what's the trouble with you. He get excited. He got the pieces. I got an idea. If we get excited, he'll get suspicious. So we'll go in there. He'll be like very nonchalantly. You know, nambi, pambi. See, like nothing happened. Wait, where's a cigarette? Here. Here. Put the cigarette in there. Now laugh. Laugh like you told me a funny story, like nothing happened. Laugh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Martin, my wife is so in love with that sweepstake ticket. <laughs> Not that it means anything, just a whim. Mr. Martin, if that ticket did win, what would you do? I'd hop on a boat, go over to Ireland, and collect the money. <laughs> Monty. Monty, it didn't work. We was too namby pamby Now, what'll we do? Honesty is the best policy. Let's tell them the truth. There must be an easier way. George Washington told the truth. Did he win a sweepstakes? Besides, this man is holding back our property. Here, take this vase. What for? Just a light tap. Not hard. Just a little tap on his head. Don't break the vase. Why should I hit him? Say he tried to kiss me. Who would believe it? I can dream, can't I? Wait. I know how to get the ticket. I'll flight with him. Hoy. If I only had a sweater. I'll take this. I'll get that ticket, or my middle name ain't Violet. I'll captivate them. Am I captivating? I never noticed it before. Norma, I think you've got something there, but don't go too far. No, just far enough to get the ticket. What's the matter? Did you hurt yourself? No. You know, Mr. Martin, I find life just too dull for boys. Ain't you? What? All my life, all my life, I've been languishing away in this terrible flat. Well, what's the matter? Is there something wrong with the plumbing? No, it's not that. It's my husband. He don't understand me. Oh, is that so? Well, do you know, Mrs. Ederman, you're looking very attractive. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Would you like to lull away the time? Yeah. Shall I turn on the radio? And we'll dance? Yeah. And we'll have a good time? <laughs> Can you do the Gita book? Well, I'll take a chance. Oh, Spanish, Senor Martin. You know, my grandfather was a Spaniard. See? Si? That's what you're up to, huh? The old badger game. Well, you'll not get away with it. I'll have you both arrested. Oh, please don't do that, Mr. Martin. I might as well tell you the truth. The ticket you got won the sweepstakes, and they're offering $25,000 for it. You mean this ticket won? It won! You're right, Monty. Honesty is the best policy.